So guys, thanks to being here. Uh, my name is João Bravo. I'm talking about uh, Jenkins Alatravis. It's a solution that we have in the, our company to uh, manage Jenkins jobs. Uh, if you don't understand my part uh, my English, it's because of the beer yesterday, not because I'm being parties. And uh, as uh, compensation, you can do the questions in parties if you want. <laughs> I will understand it well. Okay. So, where I come from? I come from Porto. Who knows where is Porto? Okay, very good. There is a lot of uh, tasteful food, uh, Porto wine, and uh, amazing landscape. It's cheap, very cheap. A beer is like half a euro. So, go there, help Portugal uh, be outside the crisis. Uh, and uh, who I am? I'm a software developer. Someone can call me also a DevOps guy. Uh, what I'm different from you? Probably. I love board gaming. I love so much board gaming that I play board games online. And uh, I'm a guy that uh, likes to do different stuff. Like, for example, last year I have horse riding class. And uh, I love, love drawing my friends. Uh, every opportunity I want to play with them, drawing them. Why? Well, but it's not such fun, so I have to work like you, and this is my company. Okay, it's fun too. Uh, we have an amazing uh, uh, office in the Porto Health Center. Uh, we are a big family, we do self-management, or we try to, no bosses. Uh, we go to snow for team building, it's amazing. So if you are looking for a job, maybe send you us <laughs> to see me. Okay. It's this the name, my data. Uh, so, this will have a, a little live demo. I uh, hope that it goes well. If you want to do in your laptop, you can do it. It's just cloning this to Git repositories. And uh, uh, Vagrant app, the first one, uh, there is a Vagrant file. It will have, uh, raise a, a virtual machine with uh, Jenkins in port 88. Okay, Jenkins. Who here don't know what is Jenkins? Good. Who don't use Jenkins? Okay, two people, free. Uh, who don't manage configuration jo uh, the, the jobs? Who don't have that kind of work, that kind of responsibility? Okay, everyone does. So, I will not explain what is Jenkins, mm -hmm. uh, of course, but uh, uh, everyone here that use Jenkins knows that Jenkins is good for the first job, you have uh, the uh, input box that explains everything with tool tips, but when you start to scaling and uh, adding plugins, it's starting to be a mess. And if you want to have another job, you just haven't a good way of copy some kind of uh, similar things that you have in another job. So, who here uh, managed more than 10 jobs of Jenkins? More than 100? Okay, more than uh, 500? Okay, very good. So, who here feels like me? Jenkins is a hell configuration. Why? Okay, but you are in the right room. Uh, fantastic, you made it. Uh, so, uh, I, I, in uh, my past enterprise, I worked in a DevOps team. You know, the guys that do everything, the guys that knows how to Jenkins and uh, Chef and everything works. And devs don't care about Jenkins configuration, config management, uh, config management tools, etc. So, uh, the job configurations fall on me. And uh, I, in the beginning, it's okay, I'm learning it, but then it's like a monkey job. I have to change Java in every job. Come on, it's stupid, right? Of course, there are alternatives. And I said, no, I don't want any more use UI of Jenkins. And I don't want to be the guy that manages Jenkins. So my team looked for alternatives in the internet. And uh, you must know someone who knows Jenkins job building. OK, few people. Who knows the Jenkins job DSL? More people. Who knows the configuration slicing plugin? Two people. Okay, configure management tools, everyone knows. Uh, my team chose Jenkins Job Builder. I will not discuss if it's better, if it's not. In Fosdem, we have a talk 
uh, another company, another guys, uh, have a talk about uh, taking the job DSL. It's good too. Uh, I will not discuss what is better. Uh, I only think that using configuration managed tools like Chef or Lancel, well, it's over engineering for a small configuration like Jenkins. But probably you can use that too. So, Jenkins Job Builder has its framework in Python that uh, just do this easy thing. Uh, read your YAML file where you have uh, your job description, translate it to XML, and then push it to the server because Jenkins only reads XML. Uh, files when you push the, conf the job configuration. Uh, so, Jenkins of Builder have a few, uh, quite things uh, very good. First, it's YAML, so it's human readable. So, being human readable, you can write and pull requests and do commits, etc. You can do that also with XML, but come on. Uh, so, also have a templating system and macro system. Wh what is this? is uh, you can uh, uh, reuse small pieces of your uh, description and uh, use in another job template. For example, this is uh, one example that you can find in the Zinkin Job Builder site. It's open source too. Uh, you have uh, the name, the triggers, the builders, the publishers. Uh, you can have another things. Uh, Zinkin Job Builder have a, a good communi community. Uh, almost every plugin that exists, and there are so many in Jenkins, have a Jenkins Job Builder already modeled so, so you can easily integrate in Jenkins Job Builder. If you haven't that a model, it's not difficult to make one. It's just, even if you don't know Python, it's just sending to, to files and uh, copy paste almost. Of course, uh, be careful with copy paste, but it's a very easy job. So, uh, my, my uh, past uh, enterprise, uh, we start to using this kind of uh, uh, monolith uh, repository where uh, we put every uh, Jenkins of uh, file in uh, two directories, if it's dev or it's production, because we use also Jenkins not for CI but for continuous delivery, and uh, it's more or less like this uh, structure. It was good. It uh, start to be very easy doing pipelines. It just write a YAML script and it, it's done. But uh, uh, there, is, there is a problem, of course, with a monolith repository. Devs don't, don't want to, uh, to work in a repository that shares information with other people. Uh, macros, we didn't work well with macros. So we, if we change a macro, it will change every job and can, can break uh, some jobs. So this is not, not good. Uh, it's like uh, chef cookbooks if you can keep all the, uh, them all in uh, one repository, but the best way is uh, splitting it in its own repository. Uh, so, uh, also uh, to update uh, Jenkins Hub, you have two, manual, uh, two steps. One is editing the file, the second one is pushing to the server. Uh, so, let's try to uh, make it easier. And then we uh, we, all of us, uh, know Travis. And when I talk to Travis, I can talk about ship.io, code.io. Uh, it doesn't matter. What Travis brings to us is the facility of two things. But I will talk only one, uh, one of them. Uh, the two things, it's the Travis YAML file. Who don't know Travis? Good. Oh, no. OK. You should uh, see open source projects. Almost of them use them. Uh, use it, sorry. Uh, and uh, one is the Travis YAML file, the other one is the container uh, stuff I think that they use to build. So if you uh, say, I want to run, run this build in uh, Python 2.7, Python 2.8, uh, there is a Python 2.8, uh, Python 3, 0, etc., uh, you can run in a very easy way. Uh, but that part we haven't yet. So I will only talk in Travis YAML file. That is a simple file that you put on your root of your project. And then, if you connect GitHub with Travis, uh, Travis only work with GitHub, uh, it checks if you do a, a new commit, a push notification, and then read the Travis YAML file and do your building tasks. So, we think about that idea and uh, let's talk with Jenkins, Jenkins Job Builder, and Travis. 
let's go to the live demo. Uh, so, uh, it's uh, a very clean Jenkins here. Okay. So, I have uh, this Vagrant file. I have also a readme. You can create the readme. And one of the things that says that you have to configure this, make this uh, small configuration, uh, set the Jenkins URL, username and API key if you have uh, authentication, and then says just this. Uh, test and update meta ZJB root. And uh, uh, no jobs, and now we have a job. Okay? Uh, so I just use Jenkins of Builder uh, to run a configuration that is found in my dot Jenkins dot uh, right? uh, jobs. Yeah. So it's like a small project that just uh, will run uh, this uh, script after cloning from this project. So if I run this project now it will not uh, happen anything uh, visible for you. But it's uh, copying some files, the macros and templates, for the Jenkins master uh, file system, so the other uh, projects can use. But the magic here is that when we change this file, repository list, YAML, and for example, I want to add this repository, and then I do a commit. Oops. And I have to have the file. Okay. I will push it. Okay, then. The Jenkins uh, will wait until five minutes. You can do pull, push, whatever you want. Uh, I will kick it to be faster. So, in uh, a minute, otherwise, we will have no. 27, sec uh, 27 seconds, we, will, we have the view. It will create another, another job. Uh, and come on, what is happening? Okay, why did I go wrong for some reason? Trailing dot. Yeah, apparently it's there. Thank you. Okay. Oh. I'm not a master, so sorry. <coughs> I I will just do this. Okay. And now copy again. No, it's it's because of this. It's correct. I don't understand what what is going on. Uh, we will see the logs. Sorry, guys. This will not responding to all. What I would like. Theoretically, it's here. Miguel, good thing. Any idea? <coughs> oh, it's perfect. I will shift here. Uh, what I will do is run Jenkins job here. 
it's what the, the, that uh, job should do. It's something that I can understand why them sucks, I believe. Uh, and uh, so I will run build up SH that is exactly what uh, the job does. So hopefully this will work now. Uh, this is just uh, installing the dependencies in my system. Okay, and this you have up here. <coughs> Why the f this is not working? Ah, guys, I have to fix this because if not. Sorry, guy. <laughs> okay, and now it worked. And now we have two jobs. Ah, some problem here. Okay, no, it's okay. Two jobs here. So we have this one, and I now I will pick this. So you will see. This is faster. Uh, <coughs> a lot of jobs. Come on, Jenkins, be fast. Again, the same problem. Oh, come on, what is fucking... Sorry, guys. What is happening? Okay, I will shit again, and I will... This is my project, the Jenkins Alatravis, and I will run here... The what that job should run. So Have, have to have happened to me? I don't know. Yes. Okay, guys, sorry, I can't understand why this didn't work in here, but you see that uh, a lot of jobs worked, okay? Uh, it wasn't built. So, what kind of surgery is this? should be more effective if it worked, but it won't. It won't. We have a method JJB root job that uh, when we edit that repository list and have uh, the URL for the repository. When it, uh, uh, you write on the that repository list, list file and had your repo, the method JJB root, what will it, that, uh, it will be uh, do? It's uh, for its repository create a project called project X underscore JJB. And then that project underscore X underscore JJB what we would do is look for its Jenkins slash jobs YAML and build our jobs that are uh, there defined. So, in my case, I define my... Uh, sorry, a lot uh, I will not show you now because I am afraid that <laughs> I broke uh, again. Uh, it will uh, build a lot uh, of jobs, the ones that you have defined in a uh, uh, Jenkins job YAML file. Uh, notice that uh, uh, this job, the underscore JJB, only runs for chance in the 
Jenkins of YAML file. So if you change your project, it will not reconfigure your pipeline. It will just build the configurations pipeline, but not run it. And then the normal project build runs if there is cool chance, not Jenkins of configuration chance, and then keeps the QA job, deploying, test, etc., whatever you want. So, did you understand any question now? So I can show you better in the. Oops. Uh, so, if I click now this, I will start a chain of builds. And for a plus, there is an just Jenkins job builder, but also Jenkins view builder that makes views easier for you too. You have, can have a view file, like jobs file, on your root project, and it creates, for example, this view. Okay, there is no jobs associated with it. Uh, probably, there is the problem that I, I don't understand why it, it's working now, but uh, I can show you that here, in my project folder, Ah, <laughs> in my project folder, ah, this. in my project folder, we have this. So we have a pipeline, a view of type pipeline. It's a plugin. I don't know if you know. Uh, CD pipeline, blah 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 blah. You can also define it right here. Okay, and uh, I don't know why it didn't work. Also. So I'll shift again. Sorry, guys. Ah, come on. OK, I will not shift, but I can show you the here. That changing. We have a full pipeline. So it should do that. Sorry, guys. So I can not show you. I will fix on the GitHub, and you can use it. And uh, we have PA test now running after deploy, etc. And this it's a manual step. It will not run production. You have to kick it for uh, deploy in production. Okay. So see, it's a manual step. It will not run. We can wait, but it will not run. Uh, okay. It's that. So, uh, what I can tell about Jenkins Ovular? Uh, my project, <coughs> I will open a new tab. Ah. We have here the definition of full pipeline. Uh, we have uh, here uh, some uh, variables that will be used by the Jenkins job builder. So I define it. Ah, I went to run uh, for this project the build job, the make image job, the test deploy job, and the, uh, the test test job. And this is the environment test, and this is the production deploy because we don't run production. Uh, test, for example. No, it, this is just an example of a pipeline. So, uh, it will uh, make a product uh, uh, for, uh, th there is a name, uh, I don't know in English, sorry, uh, but it will run out of this uh, environment for just these two templating. Uh, so, it will substitute the variables. Uh, and then we have here the templates. Uh, a C, uh, so building it will uh, uh, clone this git repository, it will pull, it will build some script, and then it will kick the making a job. And making a job will do something related with image, and then will uh, kick the testing deploy job, etc. 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 So it's a full pipeline made. Uh, I, I can swear I just sit for you, so 
uh, <laughs> this real world, it's just putting a file in your repository and it will, uh, uh, Jenkins will understand that there is a change on that repository, read the Jenkins co uh, job file and generate the full pipeline for you. Uh, okay, so what is not so good? Uh, one year ago, uh, I read a, a very good post about Jenkins and comparing Jenkins with a, a toy colored uh, Stretz Armstrong. Uh, they said that Jenkins is not like this toy. Jenkins cannot be stretched until the infinite. So if you want to add to the Jenkins a lot of plugins to do CD, uh, you can do that, but it, it will be a nightmare. Plugin uh, management, uh, jobs with different configurations, it's, it's not good. Jenkins is not a CD tool. However, there isn't any open source that I know, open source tool that I know that does what Jenkins does. Uh, there is Go tool from ThoughtWorks, but have similar problems uh, and haven't the community that Jenkins have. Uh, so I use Jenkins for CD and it's working well. We use for uh, make our bare metal deploys uh, as also immutable infrastructure in AWS. So future uh, Jenkins dot two. Uh, 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 2.0 uh, said, uh, the, the founder and the uh, mailing list said that they want to change Jenkins so they can catch the train of continuous living. And uh, they want to ha have pipelines as uh, important uh, known in the Jenkins. So i waiting for it, check if uh, maybe there is a better flow radiator because the one that I saw, it's good but it's not like Go. Uh, a, a better artifact management between pipelines uh, and if Jenkins.2.0 uh, don't give us that at least uh, we will try to do that by ourselves uh, and maybe in future work do something like Travis too having uh, containers run our job a container specific for Java, a container specific for Python etc uh, so guys it's ending my uh, time, I guess. I have only five minutes. Uh, sorry for don't show you how the things run very well. Uh, the, the magic was creating with just two files. Uh, these jobs, all of these jobs. Uh, so, any questions, guys? Any question? Do you think you will use it? Yes. Okay. Uh, make me any question if you want after it. Probably I'm a little less nervous. You can do now the Portuguese questions. No one? Okay. Uh, okay. Portuguese questions? <laughs> Go. No Portuguese. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the idea is you have your Jenkins of file in your project, so other team don't care about your Jenkins of file. You set up all your full pipeline in your in your uh, uh, root folder of your uh, Maven project, Node project, etc. You can share macros, and for that reason, uh, Jenkins of Builder haven't a good way of defining versions of, of macros. So I just uh, name it like something underscore version 1, version 2, so we can reuse macros uh, and update without breaking other projects. Uh, it's going to the same Jenkins uh, instance, I guess, or you set up a new Jenkins for every team? Uh, uh, I actually use the Jenkins for uh, all the enterprise uh, because, uh, like I said in the beginning, we have no boss, we are a big family in our company, and I give uh, full rights to everyone, so, uh, but it's authenticated, so if someone does something bad, I have auditing logs and I can teach him, okay, you do this, don't do this again, because this and that. 
uh, but everyone can go there uh, having new plugins, etc. Also, we use a chef cookbook to manage the, check, the Jenkins configuration and plugins installation, etc. But yes, we use a Jenkins for every company. Okay? Is it possible to export existing jobs to GGB? Uh, I think there is some kind of uh, um, a project for that, but uh, not sure it works very well. Uh, but it's very easy to start. You will see that it's just uh, uh, a file here, a file there, uh, a description. Sorry. Uh, you have here the, for example, all the documentation of Jenkins or Builder. Uh, yeah. So, for example, aggregate tests have it's a publisher, a chive uh, who don't want. Uh, I use a chive. Probably you, you used to. So it's just this. And there is default, so you don't care about default, yeah. uh, for example. So it's very easy. You do a, a, a easy Jenkins of file. And you, uh, if you don't want to set up uh, you, you can pull my repository and uh, it's yeah. very easy. Thank you. No more questions, guys? OK. I'm sorry again for the live then broke. And thanks for coming. Uh, see you in the lunch. Bye.